mentioned that big bully status that it wants. Hey, let me just. Yeah, yeah. It says uh, Asian uh, commodity. Uh, camaraderie. Camaraderie. I'm sorry, Asian camaraderie, a detriment to America. Look at that. Look at right? That. Look at that. Yep. You, know, you, know, you, know, you know what comes to mind in the apartment building. Because uh, in the apartment it says, born to you down, uh, Babylon, down Asia, Babylonian, I doubt, I doubt, partake uh, of uh, hope of Babylon. Meaning that the so called Asians, they believe they're going to be the next superpower. Which that's not according to the scriptures. Right. It says here, China, Russia, gas deal. So this is this is like an article on how China, Russia, right, from contempt to uh, camarad camaraderie. It's hard for you to say that, no. but that's just dealing with Russia. It's dealing with Russia becoming closer friends to uh, China. Oh, with China, here it is: the rise of Asia. All right. So there's some good articles when I get oh, this, and hey, when I get uh, when I get this magazine here, man, there's some good articles. is becoming friends is to come together in solidarity to destroy America. That's the number one reason. Yeah, yeah and basically the, the dollar the dollar is losing power as a world reserve currency. So you got nations like the British nation, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and uh, South Africa, which are coming together to trade with, with the money that they set up. They set up a, a, a bank, you know, they, they're setting up uh, the, uh, it's going to be a, uh, uh, capital of it is going to be in Shanghai, you know, so they're setting up something outside of America because everybody's starting to wake up to America's wickedness. They see America comes into a country, they'll blend the country money to so-called help them, but then that country ends up being in debt to America, and America ends up taking their resources and their lands, you know? So so these nations are waking up, and they're seeing the wickedness that America's doing, and they're backing off and making deals among themselves, which is in turn making a dollar weaker and weaker. Because they're no longer uh, 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 in, in that uh, in that in that game, so to speak. You know. Hey, if I can say this, that's part of that the, uh, the wine of uh, uh, Babylon's fornication. Because they 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 sold out the nations through their currency. The nations trusted it, which they made the U.S. dollar their their uh, reserve their, their reserve money or whatever. Then they came to find out that it was worth nothing. Going back to 1913. So now what's going on is the U.S. Put sanctions on Russia, dealing with uh, businesses and stuff that no no U.S. or Western business to deal with Russia, so that Russia can make their money in certain European nations. So Russia said, well, you know what, screw you, y'all going down anyway, so we're going to deal with uh, China and put our, put our uh, buy some of their bonds so we don't have to deal with Western bonds and stuff like that. That's, that's part of, that's part of Russia coming back to how they and many, many other nations to come up against uh, the United States. Right. right, it says, And they shall speak and say unto thee, Are thou also become weak as we? So now you know what that means. That's talking about the other nations being uh, as powerful as America due to the fact that they have the, mili uh, they have the nuclear uh, bomb. All right, go ahead. It says, Are thou also become weak as we? Are thou become like unto us? Thy pop is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials, the worm is spread under thee. Right, the worm is talking about corrosion, which uh, if you look at the infrastructure of America, even that is tanked. The infrastructure of America, the last grade that they received was a deep. The roads are falling apart, the bridges are falling apart, the pipes, the sewage. So that's an example of the corrosion that spread underneath this place, which is another sign of it's going down. As a matter of fact, in the Roman Empire, you had a road, a main road called the Appian Way. And one of the signs of the decline of the Roman Empire was that road going in decline, in the Appian Way. It started to uh, dilapidate. All right, so that's just an example of the worm that spread underneath. Go ahead. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which then speaking, which then speaking the nations? But as I said in thine heart, I will ascend unto heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mountain of the crown of 
congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend the mount of the congregation. That's talking about the Israelites. And when they said, when the scripture said, I will exalt my throne above the stars, meaning the space uh, uh, program that the American Americans have. They got that space program where they're setting up the shuttles up there. All right, you got the space stations. So that's an example of them exalting their throne above the stars. Yeah, because they know that Yahweh Shai is coming back with the angels, so they're trying to find a way to escape. You know, that's why, because for a long time they knew that the, the so-called chariots, the so-called UFOs, the chariots were out there. But then they were keeping it out out of the media from the, men, from the uh, average person. But then back in the 50s, a whole bunch of chariots came down on Washington, D.C. In yeah, 52, right? You no, know, during the Eisenhower uh, um, um, presidency or administration, you know? So what happened was that when they saw that, they said, look, we got to do something about this. So they started all these different programs, you know, uh, uh, trying to go, to go out into space, set up space stations and stuff, so that when your house shack comes back, they can escape. But they're not going to escape. Yeah, that's right. Okay, go back. Okay, so um, read that part again in the, in the article. Right, it says, um, I ran to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei spoke out on May 11th in favor of enhancing his nation's ballistic missile program he made his comment just two days before the B-5 plus one nations convened to discuss possible ways to continue the negotiations on Iran's nuclear program. So according to the article, Iran is beefing up their nuclear program. Now let's go into prophecy. Okay, now back to Ezekiel 38, and I'll, I'll read through again. And I will turn me back and put hooks into thy jaws, which is talking about Russia being turned back to a communist state underneath uh, Vladimir Putin. Go on. And I will bring thee forth in all thy army, horses and horsemen, Go on. all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, Go on. even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Go on. Persia, Ethiopia. Okay, you, you notice it says Persia. Now Persia, back in 1935, the name Persia was changed to Iran, all right? So when it says Persia, that's talking about Iran. So Iran is gonna be one of the countries that's gonna join with Russia to come against America, all right? Go ahead. Ethiopia, Ethiopia is another one, okay? Go ahead. In Libya, in Libya, <laughs> in all these countries, they have one thing in common. They hate America, and they want to see America on fire. They want to see this place destroyed. They hate its policy. They hate its government. They hate the traditions, the so-called American traditions. They hate Hollywood, which Hollywood is one of the uh, places that are corrupting the morals of the world. Hollywood. Yep. Yeah, that's, no. why, that's why when these nations come over here, their women become hoes. You know, here it is, you got these women that dress up and they cover themselves up in their country. When they come here, they take their veils off, they take off you know, their, their head covering, they start wearing, wearing oh. tight pants, their titties showing. I'll give you an example. Yeah. We frequent the uh, East Indian restaurant, and the guy who owns the East Indian restaurant, he's always showing those Bollywood videos on the TV. So we got to talking to him. He said, look, I hate those damn videos. Because in the Bollywood videos, it shows you the women dancing half naked. Yep. He's sending women. And he said that they expose too much. That's what he said. And he's from the old school. Yep. So that's just an example of how the older Indian people over there in India feel about their women dressing half naked. And who's, who's to blame for that? America. Hollywood. Hey, they call it Bollywood. Over there in India, they call it Bollywood. So that's one of the reasons why America got to be destroyed, man. And America will be. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, with them. Persia, Persia represents Iran, right? Libya, Ethiopia, and In Libya, with them. All of them with shell and helmet. So they're all going to come with these uh, weapons of war against America. Go ahead. It says, Goma and all his bands, the house of Togoma of the North Quarter and all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. Thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Right, so those nations like Iran being one of 